file barcode 580414 by Senator Garcia before line five, insert amendment. Senator Garcia, the Senator from the 38th, you're recognized to explain the amendment to the amendment. Thank, thank you, Mr. President. And uh, I want to just thank Senator Diza Portia for indulging me on this. Uh, as you all know, throughout this session, we've heard a lot and talked about, lot about the unfortunate fact that the state of Florida leads a nation in new HIV cases. And unfortunately, part of the problem is because of the criminalization of HIV. And um, unfortunately, our laws are very archaic. And I think one of the biggest problems that we have in this state is that HIV is one of the few disease states, if not the only disease state, that is really criminalized after an individual is, um, ha uh, is infected by this disease. And that is a problem. And pro why is it a problem and why do I bring it up on the floor? The problem is that a lot of individuals, once they're afraid to go and get tested because of the stigma associated with HIV. And if we can start reforming our laws to make sure that we don't single out individuals with HIV, then we can get individuals with HIV into treatment and get them, uh, get them back to, to living a healthier lifestyle. HIV no longer is a disease state that it, it's a death sentence. It has come a long way, but we still have to go a long way to make sure that we get people out of the shadows and get tested and not, uh, and not single them out uh, because of this. I will never say, I will never believe that we should uh, decriminalize the, in, the in, um, intentional transmission of the disease, but the un, unintentional transmission of the disease is something that we need to talk about. And until that point, until we can start reforming our laws and decriminalizing it, until that point, we will never uh, be able to stop being the number one in new HIV transmission. So, and I, and I bring this up on the floor because I think it's very important for all of us in the back row and everyone in the state because it just doesn't affect one subgroup. It's no longer just one, one category of people or another. It really affects every single one of us in our districts. We have uh, th th thousands of, of Floridians living with this unfortunate disease. Uh, but again, I think it's important for our laws to reflect the new technology, the new medical technologies to ensure that we get people on treatment and living a lot healthier lifestyles and ensure that those people, when they are on treatment, they will not transmit the disease. So, um, Mr. Mr. President, I, I thank you all and, and encourage you all to go back to your districts and talk about it and talk to young people to ensure that they protect, them, protect themselves and take care of themselves to ensure that they do not uh, con uh, get this disease. But, but with that, Mr. 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 President, I, I look forward to working with all of you next year to ensure that we start reforming our laws and bringing our, our, our laws back into the 21st century. And with that, I go ahead and withdraw this amendment. Mr. Show the amendment to the amendment withdrawn. We're back on the...